Hi hey, YouTube, nice to see you again. <clears throat> so the title is not clickbait. Um, I am home for the holidays right now. Thanksgiving was last week. Christmas is in a few weeks and then New Year's and then not Dartmouth. I'm going to be at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And there are a lot of reasons for this that I'll get into later in the video. Um, but yeah, I think that what's happening is what needs to happen. There's a lot of tea to spill. We'll get into it. But first, a word from our sponsor, Goodwill. Goodwill is an app for ambitious, impact-driven, young professionals and students. Not only have access to other professionals in your field or fields that you want to enter, but you also have access to, I think, over a million job opportunities, internship opportunities, scholarship opportunities, people, etc. Also really cool is they'll choose jobs and internships and scholarships for you based on your interests, which is lit. Haha, <laughs> hey MIT, funny. And so actually I was using the app this morning, as one does, and I got this message from Goodwill Goodwill Climate Action, users post a um, written post or a video idea about um, a climate change solution and for every one video or post that gets uploaded, they're going to plant a tree, which is pretty sick. And the best idea actually even gets a thousand dollars, so even cooler. So prompted by the climate change DM, I went ahead and posted my idea for what I think is a pretty cool climate change quote solution. Um, so you should totally download the app and check it out and comment on it and tell me what you think and upload your own because bro you could win a thousand dollars like that's pretty sick. Back to the tea. This is just water though. So I tried to organize this video but I couldn't really think of how to do that. Um, cause when it comes to thinking about this and talking about this, like, emotions have been everywhere this past few months. If you hear any weird groans and noises in the background, it's cause my 13 year old dog is sitting right next to me on the floor and she makes noises sometimes, but I'm not gonna make her move. Um, the summer. So I guess we'll start where everything started to change. It was amazing. I had the best summer ever. I came back from that really excited to get to see my Dartmouth friends again um, and take classes I was interested in. I took my first technical engineering course this term and that was fun, I learned a lot in that. And yeah, so I came in excited and I came in with very high spirits. And the first few weeks were really chill, it was beautiful out. Um, you know, I was busy, but I was getting to see my friends every day and all those people I hadn't seen in so long and the weather was beautiful and, you know, classes weren't too hard yet, midterms hadn't started, it was great. Um, and then if you've seen like any of my Q&As um, in the past year, you will have no, you would know that I was planning on rushing. At Dartmouth, 60% of students are affiliated. Now, freshmen aren't allowed to rush. Um, you can't rush until you're a sophomore, and when you take that into consideration, that number is probably actually between 70 and 80%, which is incredibly high. Um, higher, even, more high even than state schools um, in the South who are notorious for a strong, like crazy Greek life, like na 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 na, like you know, like those videos, like that kind of thing. Um, and it's just kind of inescapable. It's a part of Dartmouth culture, and for the most part, it's fine because it was so prominent, because it was what everything, everyone was doing, because it's what um, I thought I wanted, I rushed. I, I thought about it a lot and I really convinced myself that being in a sorority is what I wanted. Like, if I went to literally any other school in the country, I don't think that I would have ever considered rushing, because um, that's just not my vibe, it's not my personality type, but you know, it was so different at Dartmouth. Like, everyone was so nice and accepting and like, blah 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 blah. I went in totally optimistically that I was gonna rush, it was gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Um, oh, <laughs> what I, um, neglected to consider is my crippling social anxiety. Huh, a YouTuber with social anxiety? No one ever would have guessed that. Um, yeah, no. Rush was very hard for me and I could make a 20 minute tell all about my rush experience. Like, my rush experience was so messed up and all over the place that I had not one, but three Rogammas. At every other school, they're called Rokais. I had three Rokais try to deal with my problems. Honestly, like I did so much self-reflection in that one and a half week period. And um, ultimately, for reasons that I don't have time 
to go into in this video, but I can if you really want. Um, decided that I needed to drop it. But, uh, being an affiliated at a school with such a high Greek presence has been interesting. I was just very vulnerable during Rush and it was just a very um, crushing experience, um, especially like in particular like to my self-confidence and how um, I, I valued myself and that's that's messed up. It shouldn't be like that, but that's how it was. And um, I'm mostly over it. My dog, my other dog, has joined now. In conclusion, um, Rush was not fun for me. It messed me up. Um, only a little. I'm a fine. I'm fine, honestly. Um, um, it's complicated. Like, will I try again? Who knows? Do I hate myself that much? <laughs> Maybe. Other factors that led to this decision, rocky times with friends, Hanover is cold, I saw a lot of parts of Dartmouth that I guess I was just blind to my freshman year. When I was a freshman, um, I talked to upperclassmen and they, they would relate to me, they'd be like, oh, I remember like when I was your, when I was your age, I was just like absolutely um, astonished by everything Dartmouth like it, it was unbelievable it was beautiful it was perfect like blah 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 and now like that's kind of faded a little bit but you know I still love it and I was kind of like, like I can't even imagine like I love it here so much like like I'm so happy here like I know like this is where I'm supposed to be and I know that like blah 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 was it night was I naive yes was I blinded by excitement yes the, all those people they weren't jaded, they were just more wise. They just saw and understood more. And as I've grown with Dartmouth, um, I, I began to see that more. Um, that transition to go from just being so blindly in love um, with a school, like for a year, even like the school in theory, the The school in theory like even after being there for a year I'm still madly in love with it and to just like I don't know to see like the bad parts of it and like actually like understand the bad parts of it um, was kind of kind of rocked me a little bit you know um, ultimately MIT just has opportunities that are better for me right now and you know my brother and sister are in their senior year of high school and I'll get to see them um, a little bit more before they, they go off to college and you know the winters are probably just as snowy but a little less cold in Massachusetts. I'm not gonna sit here and say I won't miss Dartmouth like I'm gonna miss Dartmouth. I'm gonna miss the friends that I have made there and winter activities and the tradition of Dartmouth. Dartmouth is a wonderful place but that being said I am certain that not going back after New Year's is the best decision for me. So why MIT? Um, anybody who knew me in high school uh, knew that MIT was my dream school. Um, like literally since the like my freshman year I did this program called MIT Invent Team at my high school and we got to go to MIT and like compete and like learn and they like showed us all of like their science and engineering and arts facilities and it was just like so beautiful and so cool and like they they had me right there and and I always I always wanted to go to MIT until I toured Dartmouth and I fell in love with Dartmouth and then that was the only thing um, that switched my plans. MIT for years was where I saw myself, was where I wished I could be. And so when I realized that I really could actually be there, you know why not live your childhood dream? I'm excited to be in a city. Um, I've never really spent much time in cities before, so that'll be new and exciting and I'm sure I'll learn and grow a lot from that. So, go Beavers! I am beyond excited to say that I will be heading down to Cambridge um, to be at MIT for the next few <coughs> months. Months. Months, not years. Um, actually, I'm just taking an off term um, because Dartmouth is on the quarter system. Um, I'm just taking off winter term and doing um, computer science research. At MIT. I'm, I'm not transferring, but I am leaving Dartmouth to go to MIT. I'm just working there. I'm not going to school there. Uh, sorry if there was any confusion there. <laughs> um, see, now it makes sense because the app, the sponsor, Wood Goodwall, Goodwall is about finding internships and opportunities. And what did I find? An internship and opportunity. 
comment if I got you. I'll be back in a little bit for my dorm tour from my fall term um, room situation. No, in all seriousness, I love Dartmouth and I'm excited to go back in the spring, but I think this break from it um, will not only help me grow in my skill set, but like help me um, reflect and figure out where I want to be and what I, I need. Um, and moreover, what I want to go back in get out of my Dartmouth experience because after this term, after this off term, I'm going to be on taking classes for five straight terms, which will be great. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry if I scared you again. Bye.